when you look at the massive uptick in diseases around the world since the, you know, the late seventies, mostly when we radically changed the way we ate, you know, um, you can see that these so-called diseases have increased dramatically and, uh, you know, the obesity rates tripled, heart disease tripled, stroke rates tripled, cancer rates have tripled, type two diabetes, autoimmune disorders, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, even developmental delays. And, you know, such as autism, miscarriages, all these sorts of things have increased exponentially. You know, these things were, were quite rare before then. Now they're the only things we treat. Even heart disease is the most common killer around the world. That didn't, that wasn't, that, would, that didn't exist before the 20th century. You know, the first, if, if I remember correctly, the first description of atherosclerotic plaque and heart disease uh, was described in the 1920s. Um, you know, that's, that's brand new in, in the medical world. And, you know, people say, oh, well, it was probably there, just people didn't notice it. And it's like, well, no, actually, like you made your name as a doctor um, by finding something new and putting your name on it. You know, there are a lot of things named after people in the 1800s, 1700s, 1600s, 1500s, even, even much before that, you know, we have a vein in our brain called the vein of Galen. Galen was a Roman surgeon to Marcus Aurelius and, and, a, and a brilliant surgeon and, and doctor. And, you know, his teachings, you know, were used for 1500 years afterwards. So, you know, these are, these are not dumb people and they, you know, they do pay attention. So, you know, heart disease was, was brand new in the 20th century, really didn't see it before. And people attributed it to cholesterol and heart and um, saturated fat, but that wasn't true because we were always eating fat and cholesterol and so forth. We never had this disease. And as one researcher in the seventies said, how can an ancient diet cause a new disease? Because it is a new disease. And so that's one example of food causing disease. And we think about it in that, in that terminology. Well, it's like, oh, if you eat fat and cholesterol, that will cause heart disease or diabetes or something like that. And they're, and they're right. You know, there is something that we're eating that's causing that, but it's not, it's not fat, cholesterol. Um, number of things, usually sugar is the main thing, sugar and carbohydrates and alcohol.